Hi, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I'm a full-time reseller and I sell mostly pre-owned clothing and shoes on places like eBay and Poshmark. Today I went to the Goodwill Outlet, which is also known as the Goodwill Bins, for the second day in a row, which is I think the first time I've ever done that in, since I've been a reseller. I don't think I've ever gone two days in a row. So yesterday I actually did a haul as well which is the video right before this was yesterday's haul yesterday was definitely a little bit of a better day for me today was much busier some people were just being straight straight up rude so i did not stay very long but i did still end up getting 28 pounds of clothing which ended up being 37 pieces and i paid right under 38 dollars. so i paid a dollar and two cents per item and that's why i love going to the goodwill outlet because Typically when I go there, my cost of goods is right at a dollar, a little bit over or a little bit under. Yesterday, my average cost of goods was 82 cents. So anyways, let's just hop right into it. I have this big Ikea bag full, and then I also have this smaller Goodwill bag full. And I have not really done many comps. I typically don't do comps at the outlet unless it's something that I have never heard of. So I will just go ahead and let you know what I think I will be listing each piece at. Some of these pieces are stained up, so I will be stain treating those as well. But yeah, let's just jump right into it. So the first piece, I was really excited to find this. I don't know if this is necessarily vintage. It kind of looks vintage, but it's this L.L. Bean quarters it pullover it has the logo there it has sherpa on the collar now this has a couple stains on the front i don't know if you could see that um but in the green there there's some grease stains so this i will be using my oxyclean max force spray on that to see if this will come out and typically that does get grease stains out that is like my favorite thing to use for reselling and for my personal life um, if you have kids, you know, their kids get, or their clothing can get destroyed. So I will take my OxyClean spray to this and that should definitely come out. And that I'll probably be able to list around 30, especially if I get the stains out, maybe about 35. The next piece, I was really excited for this because I rarely find this brand. The brand is Burton, which sells like snowboarding stuff, a winter gear, now this says it's a size small. Um, this is their BioLite series, I guess. This is definitely a men's size small, but it's just a like snowboarding jacket. I have no idea what I'll be able to get for this. If I had to guess, at least $35, if not more. I know Burton can sell for decent amounts of money. This next piece is another piece that I believe had some stains on it. Yes, now this honestly just looks like dirt in my opinion but i could not leave this behind definitely a vintage shirt but it has horses on it and then also on the back now if you see on the sleeve here there's like some dirt there but that honestly looks like dust like not dust but it kind of looks like baseball field dirt if you know what i mean um so i'm going to wash that i'm going to stain treat it there's definitely some up front there and hopefully those stains come out as well. We will have to see. This is another, I believe, vintage piece. It's not single stitch, but I do believe it's vintage. This is a Costa Maya or Costa Maya. No, I think it's Costa Maya t-shirt. I thought that was super cute. Probably be able to get around like $22 for that. This piece, I just absolutely love the print of this. I'm assuming this is men's. And this is also 100% silk. It is a size large. This might be women's. I'll have to look a little more into it. But look at this blazer. Oh my goodness. The sun print. I love this. I personally love astrology. I love zodiac signs. I love all of that kind of stuff. And this just goes right with that theme. And I just absolutely love this. So again, I don't really know what I'll be able to list this for, but if I had to guess about $35 to $50 maybe. And the brand is Cedars. I believe this is also vintage. I was really surprised that other people left this behind. 
This piece I also have to wash. There's a little bit of dirt on the one button. This is definitely worn a bit, but that's okay. It's definitely vintage again, and this is the perfect time of year to list this. Look at this super cute Halloween vest. I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but the black is definitely faded a little bit. That first button there has some dirt on it. I honestly might just hand wash that. It just looks like some surface dirt. But this is just too cute and I could not leave that behind either. Again is another vintage sweater. Surprised that somebody left this behind. I mean, this is sitting on like the top of the bin, just sprawled out, which told me that somebody looked at it and just placed it there. But it is this vintage sweater, kind of color block, has these different patterns on it, houndstooth, chevron. It is 100% wool. I'm, I think this might be a men's sweater. I'm not positive. Mm, maybe not. It is a size small. I may list it as a women's. I'm not sure but probably around $30 for that piece. This next piece again, super exciting. <clears throat> this is by the brand Realtree. This is a great time of year to list these as well. It's this pair of camo pants. They have a double knee, which is like this detailing here. If you ever see like these two seams by the knee area, that is called double knee. So that usually gives pants more value. Honestly, I have no idea what these will go for, but if I had to guess, at least $25. This next piece, again, I, I don't know what this is going to go for, but the brand is Carlisle. I have looked this brand up before, I think, and I believe it can go for decent decent amount of money, but it is this blue, it's super wrinkly now, like, because it was sitting in that bag, not even for that long, but... I thought this had a stain on it as well, but now I'm not seeing anything. But either way, this is a women's size 14, super stretchy, cropped, like a moto type jacket, this super cute blue color. I thought this had a stain, like I said, but I am not seeing anything right now. I do see a little bit of, I don't even know what that is or if that's going to come up in camera. Um, no, there's like a tiny mark right here that sort of looks faded. Yeah, that's definitely not coming up. But I'm going to give that a wash and just see if that stuff comes out. Next, I got these mainly based off of style. I do think these are definitely an older piece though, like an older Y2K pleat piece. The brand is LA Blues size eight but these are a brown pair of cargo pants um you can ruche up the ankles there there's pockets on the side brown is perfect for the full time and again this is super y2k vibes if i had to guess probably around 25 for those as well now this next piece i got only because it was new with tags and again i was really surprised that other people left this behind but this is just adidas this is a kids piece size extra large which is a great size for kids and new with tags let's see what goodwill had marked at goodwill had this marked at nine dollars and fifty cents yeah absolutely not but it's a super cute pair of tie-dye side stripes um leggings if i had to guess i should be able to get at least fifteen dollars for these especially because it's back to school time Hopefully these go relatively quickly. Next, I actually got this for my son. I thought this was so cute. This is just a Columbia fleece jacket, camo. And yeah, I got that for my two year old. Next is this Kiss t-shirt. I love picking up band tees, even if they're not vintage. This is just, you know, a newer, style but this is a size extra large which i like and this should go for like 18 to 20 dollars this piece now this brand i only get on certain occasions so this is croft and borrow but the size is a 3x which is why i got it and i love the cheetah print this would be a great transition piece from summer to full time um 
leopard cheetah print which I believe is gonna be I mean I feel like leopard print is like always in every fall never goes out of style I don't know what I will get for this probably around $22 this piece I got for myself I'm really excited about this um there was no tag on it but either way it's this super cute maxi skirt I thought this would be great for the fall time I don't really have any skirts I have one skirt that is like navy blue and striped and kind of like a stretchy um like loungy material but that's literally it so I thought this was really cute buttons down the front and then goes into a slit and then it has smocking there so yes I just thought this was adorable and you cannot beat buying clothing for yourself at the bins for a dollar I mean where else can I buying clothing for a dollar for myself and for my kids you know what I mean I love thrifting and saving pieces from the environment I just love it like one of the reasons why I love this job and love and I'm very grateful for the fact that I'm able to do this for a living like I am truly living out my dreams right now and I feel like it's only the beginning I feel like things are only going to get better and I'm just so happy so grateful sorry for that little tangent there Oh, this next piece is also a personal piece. I actually got these for my boyfriend. He's going to be so happy. These are new tags. Star Wars sweatpants. They do kind of smell funky. Definitely got to wash them. Even if they're new tags, definitely wash everything from the bins. But my boyfriend loves Star Wars. He's going to just love these. All right. Now we're going to move on to the big bag here. This is one of the last pieces I found, which I was super excited about. Again, I'm really surprised that other people pass this up like maybe they didn't realize what it was I don't know but this is a vintage Woolrich piece women's size large oh I'm sorry women's size medium that is a really old Woolrich tag it's just this zip up kind of utility jacket in this super cute pink color they call the color raspberry that's what the tag says now it looks like there may it looks like there may have been a hood there at some point it's hard to tell but yeah uh this should definitely go for around 40 to 50 dollars this next piece maybe i should have left behind i don't know um it's new with tags that's the big reason why i got it but i did not look it up i probably should have especially because we're going out of summertime but i list all seasons all year round so this is a bathing suit. I thought this was really, really cute. The super cute floral print. It is new with tags, like I said. The brand is Caden Lane. I'm not sure, I never heard of this brand. I will have to look it up. But the fact that it's new with tags is the main reason I got it. So I'm not sure what I will be able to get for this, but I'm assuming at least $20, maybe more. This next piece is another vintage piece. It is on just a Hanes heavyweight tag. It is not single stitch, it is double stitch, but I just thought this was so cute. It says, just do it later, Caramar Beach, <laughs> with like a gecko there. I don't know, I thought this was adorable. And I love selling vintage pieces, especially vintage t-shirts. I can usually get around like $18 to $25 for vintage t-shirts, depending on what they are. Some vintage t-shirts go for a lot more. Um, but on average, you know, $18 to $25. This next piece is a Rachel Zoe piece. This is 100% cashmere, which is why I picked it up. And my nails kind of match this. Sort of. I don't know but it's a super cute like a light blue gray sweater has an asymmetrical hem there size small but I should be able to get around $25 for that this next one I remember what this is this is a J crew piece 100% lambs wool men's size large sweater this I should be able to get around $30 for I love selling J crew pieces especially sweaters in the fall and winter time some pieces um you can get decent money for this next piece is again for my son just this champion t-shirt all over i love the colors um 
He's not going to be able to fit this yet, but in about a year or so, he should be able to fit this. This next piece, again, is a vintage tee. This has a stain on it. I did see somebody else looking at it, but I believe they left it behind because of all the stains on it. Actually, there's quite a few on there. But it says, saddle up. It's just a St. Jude's Children's Hospital t-shirt, but it's definitely vintage. Again, it's on a Hanes Heavyweight tag, size extra large, and the horse print, and kind of like that, um, I don't know, that Western print really drew me to it. But as you can see, there's a bunch of staining down the side there. Um, so I'm going to take that spray again to this and see if that will come out. Cause that really honestly just looks like surface staining. So yeah, we will see how that goes. This next piece I kind of debated, but I picked it up anyways, just because it's you know, it's, we're going into the right season for this. This is a free people piece, size medium, which I rarely find. I rarely find free people. And I know it has definitely gone down in popularity, in value, but if I can get it for a dollar, I'm not going to pass it up. It's this Fair Isle sweater, sort of has like this boat neck. It's a fitted style and it is super soft. I didn't look at the material, but if it still has a tag, Oh, it does. Thank goodness. Let's see. Yes, it is 68% wool. So this is really soft. And if I had to guess, I should be able to get at least 25 for this. This next piece was kind of an experimental piece for me. I love doing experimental pieces from the bins because they're so cheap. And it allows me to experiment with different brands and see how well they sell. Um, so this is the brand U.S. Polo Association, which I think is sort of related to Ralph Lauren. I'm not positive, though. Don't quote me on that. Um, but this is a women's size large. It has a logo right there. Puffer jacket, lightweight, and it has these side panels on it. If I had to guess, I should be able to get 20 to 25 for this. And again, I really have never sold this brand. So I figured a more substantial piece would probably do well. And it'll allow me to see just how quickly this brand sells and how much it sells for. Because if I can find it at the bins for a good price and if it's in good condition, like I will definitely pick it up 100% if it sells quickly. Okay, this is the only hat I got. It's a women's Phillies hat. I love selling hats. This is, I mean, this, I guess I would call it new with tags because it has that on it. Also has that on the inside or maybe new without tags. Definitely was never worn, but I should be able to get around $20 for that. This next piece, these sell for around 20 to 25, but I picked it up because it's a good size. It's a men's size extra large, and it is a more substantial piece. And again, great for the fall and winter time. But the brand is Rugged Elements. And it's this super chunky fleece lined, has almost this chevron print on it. Shacket, button up, shirt jacket. Those are totally still in right now. The word shack it is a word you want to use for sure. This is in excellent condition. It feels like it's never been worn. Like this is so soft. So again, I will list this around $25. This is one of the very few pieces that I did look up inside the store. Okay, we are almost done here. Sort of, we're about halfway through this bag. I had to stop and empty my phone storage. My phone is very low on storage. So anyways, let's continue. This piece I sort of debated on, but I ended up picking it up because of a few reasons. One, it is 100% silk. Two, it is reversible. And I love how the outside is just plain black. And then the inside is this super bold cheetah print. Well, animal print, I should say. It has zebra, cheetah, leopard, snake print, almost a patchwork design. And... I forget what this brand is. Let me see here. This is definitely a vintage piece. Okay, yes, this is a size large AM Studio. So that's the brand. 
And I just love, I don't know, I just love this bold pattern and the fact that it's 100% silk. So this I should probably be able to get around $30 at least. Now this piece I probably should have left behind, but that's okay. I know that Abercrombie & Fitch is definitely back on trend now and this is an older piece, but this is also a size double zero which is why I probably should have left it behind. But this is an older tag, Y2K tag, but it's this super cute mini dress with like this floral eyelet detailing and this belt. Should be able to get around 20 to 25 for that. This next pair of pants is actually a vintage Aeropostale, which I didn't get it because of that. I got it because of the style. Let me button this up here. Now it is a size juniors five and women's six. I will also in my listing put the waist measurement, but this is an on trend again, cargo style pant. This is gonna be great for the fall time. You can also change it into ankle length. Um, it is convertible or you can wear it full length. And I will use the keywords you know, Y2K, 90s, baggy, because this is definitely a looser fitting baggy style. And I should be able to get around $25 for these as well. This next piece is more of an experimental piece as well. I've never sold pants by this brand. I have sold this brand a few times, but no pants by him. Um, the brand is Tasso Elba, which I believe is a men's brand. This is a pair of pants, 100% pure wool, which is why I got them. They're in excellent condition. And the size, let me see the size. I know it was on here somewhere. 34 regular. So just a nice pair of black dress pants. 20 to 25 on those as well, most likely. This next piece is another one that I have to wash for sure, but this is another free people piece, size medium. I thought this would be great for the fall time. It's this bomber jacket, but if you could see on the front there, there's some staining, but that definitely just looks like some surface dirt, not even really staining. I don't even, I might put that spray on there just because it kind of looks like oil, a little bit grease, but this should come right out. And this, if I had to guess, at least $30. This next piece, I was really surprised that people left this behind as well. Maybe they didn't know what it was, but this is a North Face piece, a women's size large. This is a hoodie, which I don't know if I've ever sold hoodies by the North Face, but that's what the logo looks like on the front. And it says the North Face Mountaineer Specialist. I thought this was different. And on the back, it has this print on it, which I thought was really unique. So I will have to look this up and see if this is a special piece um, in any way, but I should be able to get 25 to 30 for that. And the inside fleece is still really soft. It feels a little worn, but still really soft. So just a few pieces left. Actually, two of the three pieces left are personal use. I got this for my daughter. She's just going to love this. She is such a girly girl. I thought this would be great for the fall time. Throw in a pair of leggings or tights with some booties. I love the color, this full lace, buttons in the back. So cute. And then this piece I just got for myself. This is American Eagle. It is a size small, but it's definitely oversized. I love this green color. It's super soft, more of a crop style. And yeah. This will be great for me for the fall time. And last but not least, I actually just talked about this brand in a video. I don't think it was the last video. I think it was the video before that. But the brand is Nicole Miller Artier. I don't know if that's how you say it. Um, this is like a knit dress. It's almost slinky-like. It's like that slinky knit has polka dots, it's that swing style, super flowy at the bottom. 
super stretchy. I thought this would be a great transition piece as well. And some dresses by this brand can go for really good money. So I have to, I would have to guess that I should be able to sell this piece for at least $35. And that is everything that I got from the Goodwill outlet today. So I spent about two hours there, a little less than two hours. And like I said, it was really, really busy today. And there were some resellers there that were just kind of ruining the mood for me. Like in my opinion, there's no need to be aggressive. There's no need to like say block the entire aisle and then not move when somebody says, excuse me. It's very irritating. Um, I'm not going to get into it. But anyways, thank you so much for stopping by. If you made it this far, please just be kind to other resellers. There's enough clothing, as we all know, to go around. And we're all just trying to do the same thing. So can we just be nicer to each other, please? Like, I personally try to be as nice as I can. Not to just resellers, but to everybody. Like, there's no reason to be rude when you're out thrifting or even just out in the real world in general. Like, there's no reason to be rude. So... This is your reminder to just be nice. Be nice to other people and be nice to yourself as well. So anyways, that is, that is it for my little tangent. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you in my next video.